Scientists have treated time as the backdrop of the universe, stage on which particles dance and galaxies spin. But a new experiment, the Ron Fulman T3 interferometer, quietly delivered a shockwave through physics. It showed something astonishing. When an atom is put in a superposition, half falling, the two versions of that atom accumulate a phase difference that grows as T cube, the cube of time. That's not ordinary physics. That's a fingerprint, a signature, a sign that time itself is not fundamental. Because the only way to get a T cubed phase is if gravity is actively sculpting the very ticking of the quantum wave function. The atom's internal clock speeds up or slows down, so suddenly we see something wild. The quantum clock depends on gravity. Time is shaped by geometry. Time is not independent at all. This is what philosophers call emergence, but gravity produces the experience of time. Time is the shadow cast by space-time geometry, and if time isn't fundamental, then what is? Einstein gave us one answer. Mass energy curves space-time. Penrose goes further. Quantum superpositions of mass create conflicting curvatures, two incompatible realities. He argues the universe resolves this conflict by collapsing the superposition. Gravity, in his view, is not just geometry. It is the referee of reality. This doesn't give you anti-gravity, levitation, or magic. Freefall isn't gravity disappearing. It's gravity becoming invisible because freefall is the natural straight-line motion in curved space-time. Gravity isn't the sum of forces. It isn't a field you combine with others. It is the shape of the universe itself. Oscillations contain energy, yes, but superpositions don't multiply energy. You can't get infinite power from trapped photons or levitated atoms because mass energy is conserved and gravity responds to all forms of it. And the amount of gravity? That's just how much space-time bends around energy and mass. A curvature you feel as weight, lose in free fall, and measure with the fall of apples, the ticking of clocks, and the dance of galaxies. So here is the shocking, beautiful, unifying truth. Time is not fundamental. Gravity is not a force. Superposition is not magic. And reality emerges from deeper structures we are only now glimpsing. Through atoms that fall and atoms that float, through phase shifts shaped by space-time, and through the quiet whisper that the universe is built not out of moments, but out of geometry, energy, and the relationships between them. That is the premise. That is the meaning. That is the philosophical shockwave. And that is where Penrose, gravity, superposition, and mass energy all converge into one breathtaking idea. Reality is woven not from time, but from the structure beneath it.